Good morning, guys. Uh, we are in McGregor Bay. Um, gonna head over to Little Current shortly. It is 7 a.m. and we're gonna make the, I think, 11 o'clock swing bridge. Uh, sun is coming up. It looks like a red fireball right now because there is, I guess, some ash in the air from wildfires up uh, in northern Ontario, uh, north of us. Um, but it's just enough that uh, for us the sun is pretty red, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on this video here. But uh, let's see if you can, you can kind of see the reflection of it in the water a little bit better. But there's the reflection. And there's the sun. Yeah, it's just literally like a perfect red fireball there. It's kind of cool. So we've seen actually that the last couple nights too for sunset. And this is the first time I've seen it at sunrise because I'm usually still sleeping.
So here's an overview of our uh, trip leaving McGregor Bay. Um, that morning we actually left uh, the East Channel here in McGregor Bay. Uh, we came out the exact same way uh, we went in. And we actually went over to Little Current. Uh, we did some reprovisioning. This was our last grocery shop and LCBO run before we started to make our way uh, back over um, towards Cover Portage Cove. So from Little Current, uh, we came this way from the, from Little Current and picked up our route here. Uh, we came up the lands down and all the way back to Covered Portage Cove just outside of Killarney. Everybody, hold on to your drinks because Lex is driving. Okay. Here's a little fin. It is stupid humid today, guys. So stupid humid is the technical term for really, really hot. Now, if you can see how hazy it is, it's really hazy right now because um, I guess there's some wildfires and we are getting the smoke from the wildfires, but they're in uh, much north, like more north than we are, um, as possibly as far as Manitoba as well. So I'm not quite sure. I didn't look up the information. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're getting right now. Uh, we are just veering off to our port side <laughs> because Lex is driving. Sorry, um, yeah. So we'll show you when we get into. We're actually, I don't know if I said. Oh yeah, we're, we're headed to cover portage. Yeah. yeah, we're headed to cover portage to meet up with. Uh, not dads, and they have Taylor, who has been on our videos. Um, he has going commando. Yeah, so we're gonna meet up with uh, them over there.
Fuck off. I'm trying to film. Hopefully it's not too rough. Well, baby, <laughs> it's almost 6 a.m. We are doing what? Getting ready to leave. So sad. But we still have, what, 10 days of vacation left or yes. like that? It just feels like we have less because we have to leave <coughs> the North Channel today. So, so we're back on Georgian Bay. So we're going to head out. What, a 12-hour day? Mm -hmm. Hoping to make it a point of barrel. Yep.
Over the next few days, there was some heavier wind forecasted. So we decided to do a 12 hour run uh, and get to somewhere around Point of Barrel. Uh, I think we made it to Hopewell Bay. Um, so leaving Killarney, uh, we came through Collins Inlet. We typically prefer to come this way just because the ride is absolutely beautiful, even though it might take a little bit longer. And out of Collins Inlet and Beaverstone Bay, we came back down into Georgian Bay here and left the North Channel behind us. And we came over across the north side of the Bustard Islands and over to the eastern side of Georgian Bay where we started to head south along the small craft route. We pretty much just followed the small craft route south all the way down through Hang Dog Channel and past Point of Barrel uh, where we pick up uh, the Shawanaga right here and we cruise all the way into Hopewell Bay on Shawanaga Island. Hi guys, 
So, um, earlier today I was telling you guys that we were doing a 12 hour day. We finally made it from Killarney to Hopewell Bay, which is just south of Point of Barrel. Um, we arrived, what, 6.30ish probably? Um, you know, tied up, put the anchor down, that kind of stuff. And then uh, we made some dinner, we did pork chops, and now it's like almost 9, we're gonna do a game of crib. And we've been up since like 5.40 this morning, so we're pretty tired. So I have a feeling we're going to be going to bed soon, but um, yeah, so we've made it. We're going to spend tonight and then hopefully tomorrow night. It's expected to have 20 millimeters of rain tomorrow um, and kind of windy. So we're probably going to stay put here and then we're going to head over to Regatta Bay and do Gillies probably on Sunday and that's about an hour and 45 minute drive. So I guess we will... I'm probably going to sign off for the day here because we're going to go to bed. So we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Oh yeah, you guys can see. Look at that beauty of the moon. Paul's swatting away. Look. It is July the 24th. Um, we had a great night last night. The moonrise was spectacular. Um, we're in Hopewell Bay. It's been pretty much raining and windy all day. Uh, the wind was supposed to come out of the south southwest. Instead it's coming out of the east or southeast. Um, so we're getting white caps in the bay. Uh, there is three other sailboats here right now plus us. Um, probably at least six inch to one foot waves coming in the bay. So if you can see the background, it's kind of moving a little bit. Um, that's good of that. So I'm gonna take you outside really quick and show you what it looks like. Uh, the waves have continued all day and the wind all day. Um, they're probably a good foot for sure now. Uh, we're kind of bobbing around with uh, still three other sailboats in here, so it's been fun. I don't know if you're going to hear the wind in the background whistling. Um, here's Lex. Hi, baby. How are you doing? Okay, no. She drank too much last night. No, I didn't. I didn't drink anything last night. Okay, so she didn't drink anything last night, but she's having ginger ale today and a little bit of gravel and her goldfish crackers. So that's how she gets through these uh, crappy, rough, rainy days. Now, if the weather forecast would have had this right, it should be calm in here today. But, they are so far off that, there you go, there's a good shot of the bow bouncing up and down. You probably can't tell how big the waves are in the video, but that gives you a pretty good idea. Here's one thing I want to show you. This is our handheld GPS. As you can see, it's got the tracks on, and that's been our swing radius for all day. So that's how we 
tell that our anchor is held and not dragging because the boat just keeps spinning back and forth in the same spot. So because it's so shit and that we keep rocking and bopping around and I'm finally feeling better because the gravel is kicking in, we're gonna have a competition to see who can make the straightest line walking across the boat. So. Oh dear. I'm ready, go. You have to do one foot to the other, just so you touch. <laughs> Take that. Are you drunk? <laughs> That's so funny. Also, just taking the fact that this is the waves we're dealing with in this bay. We have like white caps. Anyway, hi guys. So, a little update uh, we have had a major wind shift, mm -hmm. and you can see that Lex is no longer seasick. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better. So we are just sitting here. Um, I'm having a glass of wine. You're like your sixth glass of wine. My sixth glass of wine. Yeah. Lex. I'm not drinking tonight just because I've had a rough day and I really just, just don't want to get drunk and then be hungover and then feel more sick. I've had enough sickness feeling today. So um, I don't know if you can see Finn. No, you can't. His paw. Finn's just laying down, enjoying his time. Yeah, it's uh, it cleared up like strangely fast. We didn't get as much rain as we thought we were going to today. It was calling for like, I think I said this morning, 35 millimeters. Because um, this morning, well, last night I filmed a bit and we had like crazy moon. It was a full, full moon last night and it was like huge and orange and camera totally didn't do justice, but I did film some of that. And then this morning we woke up at like 5.30 and it was like, it looked like someone turned like an orange LED on. Like it was the weirdest thing. It was so pretty outside, um, but super windy. And then we went back to <coughs> but bed. We didn't have, we didn't have, uh, we didn't have like any waves in the bay this morning. No, but it was, it was windy. Like, it, it, like the flag, our flag yeah. makes this really annoying noise. And that's all you hear in our bed. And it was like going strong this morning. And then we went back to bed and I woke up and I could feel the boat bopping quite a bit and I was like, frick, like it's gonna be a nasty day and it, we literally did not stop bopping all day long. We had white caps in the bay. I don't know if, I think you filmed some, right? I think so, yeah. We had white caps in the bay, like it was, ew, it was brutal. Um, I was seasick all day. I took a few gravel and it kind of helped, but I was just so dizzy and I couldn't like, I just could not relax today. Um, and then yeah, then it like. All stations, all stations. This is Sanya Coast Guard Radio, Sanya Coast Guard Radio. Call warning time now, I'm just letting waters of Southern Georgia Bay. Okay. Squall warnings are over. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. like it cleared up. Oh, this camera's almost done, I gotta talk fast. It cleared up and I got a bit of that. And then there's a rainbow behind us. Um, and now it's like dead calm, white caps are gone, we're barely moving, and it's like 9 o'clock, not just after 9, and we're still supposed to get like 70. It's, the wind is still supposed to pick up, but at least... Like 60 kilometers an hour. At least the bay will be protected from the waves, so we'll get wind, but the waves will be gone. Stop it. Oh, did I forget anything? What do you want me to do? Babe. <laughs> what do you want me to do?